Ben Jacobson for Ben Jacobson Photo here with an Oban tripod review. B&H was kind enough to send me three of their tripods uh, to review for you. Uh, all three are Obans. All three are sold as a kit with the head and the legs. Um, and B&H, as far as I know, is the exclusive uh, retailer for these right now. Um, so let me walk you through the heads. Uh, I'll, all the specifics of each model will be on the blog to go with this review. Uh, but let me just show you a little bit about each one. The first one is the Oban AC1310 leg set with a BA0 ball head. Uh, this is basically an introductory tripod. It's $100 for the pair. Uh, you get a, a, a head and legs for that and the, uh, the clamp you need, the bracket I mean. Uh, and this costs you around $100. It's a very nice introductory set. Uh, it, it's a lever lock setup and the legs aren't replaceable. They're just little rubber feet, so there's no spiked option. This will hold 11 pounds, and like I said, it's a good introductory tripod for when you're, when you're first starting out with tripods. It has a center column that brings it up near eye level uh, with a nice lock. The head, both this head and the next head, I'll show you, they're the same design. This one holds 11 pounds, that holds 17. Again, the, the real specs will be in the blog, but those are rough estimates. Uh, it's a one lock head, meaning the pan and the ball adjustment are both controlled by that one lever. Um, personally, I like that because I don't pan much with my heads. Uh, so it's very nice to have one lever. You, you, when, you, when you're touching a lever in the dark in the morning, you know it's the right one. Um, and then the clamps on these heads are actually quite nice. Uh, this has a smaller uh, plate than the next one up that I'll show you in a second here. But it's got a ball head. And then it has four different levels here in the base, one for each angle, up and down, and then both of the other left and right angles, depending on how you have it lean. Um, so again, it's a very nice introductory uh, setup, very basic, but it'll get the job done. This, it's rated for 11 pounds. Uh, and like I said, lever locks, uh, and it's just a good introductory tripod. And again, this is the uh, AC1310 with the BA0 head, and that'll be linked in the review. The next set of legs is the AC2320L. Uh, this is a very sturdy tripod. The only negative I have with the whole setup is it's not light, um, but for studio work or if you really don't mind lugging some weight, this thing's rock solid and has some great features. Um, it has very nice spiked feet that switch between spiked and, and rubber. Um, it has le very nice lever lock adjustments. They're nicer levers than the previous tripod in the way they work, and you can completely dismantle them. Um, it has padding on two legs. The other tripod did as well, which is very nice in cold weather. Um, but the real trick with this one is, and it, it is a little confusing in the same regard, but you have three knobs here. This one in the front controls rotation. You can tell because it's in the, the spider here. There's one on the side here that is up to down. So you loosen that and go up to down. If you then go all the way up to a certain point, you flip this lever on the side back here, pop a little button on the side, and you get an angle. Um, and now the angle, you, you can lock that angle with that. So now it's not gonna go up to down, and then you lock this, and it's solid. The reason this is nice is for macro work, it really lets you to move in and out on things. But it's also nice, I'm a landscape guy, and for my 14 millimeter lens, I can put this right over a leg like that and get my 14 out over the tripod legs. With my traditional setup, I don't have a center column at all, and when I'm doing 14 millimeters and angled down on a full frame camera, a lot of the times my legs will get in the shot, my tripod legs. Uh, so that's a very nice feature to have. Uh, and again, you just lock that with that. This guy on the side, it's a little tricky to use at first, but once you get it, it's not bad. Um, and you can just readjust the levels, put it back in, uh, and then both, again, have the locks so you can go out on angles as well. Um, and again, these, these lever locks, some people love lever locks, some people hate them, but these on this tripod are very nice lever locks as far as they go. Um, and like I said, the spike feet are some of the nicest spike feet I've seen. I'm using Gitzo spike feet on my Enduro tripod myself, and I would prefer these. Um, and this head, again, same thing, one knob. Everything's bigger on this. This holds 17 pounds. Plate's bigger, ball's bigger, the whole entire thing. Every little part's bigger. It incorporates the same levels, which are fantastic. And it has one knob for both functions, which I prefer, some people don't. 
Um, they have a multitude of heads to choose from, so if you don't like that, you can choose a different head. Um, moving on to the final tripod, this is the GoDaddy Travel, really nice light setup. Uh, this is, what is it? It's the CT3420 with a BB1T head. Uh, lots of improvements here versus the other ones in terms of travel. It's, it's very light. I'll post the weights on the site, but it's the lightest of the three. Um, and it's not quite the tallest. The middle one was taller, uh, but this packs up super short too. To go, if you want to go someplace with this tripod, you put the center head up, twist locks, three locks. You can see how fast I can do all three. That's all three. Then you pop these locks at the top and the, and the legs angle up. And this is, I think it's about 17 inches long folded, but it'll go in a carry-on bag. Uh, and it's super light, super tiny. So it's, it's great for traveling. Um, as you can see, it's a little short for me without the center column up um, in terms of a landscape setup. Obviously you don't always shoot at the top of your legs but sometimes you do and it's nice to have it be head height when you have that option. Um, so I would end up using the center column on this a bit more than I'd like, but it's still not a terrible setup. Uh, the head offers a pan lock, the regular lock, and then on the back over here is the drag. They offer this head in two different styles. One has the drag as a dial on the main lock, so you have your, your option there. I would probably go with that set up if I were to choose because when you fold these up the legs have to miss all three legs or all three knobs and with three knobs it's obviously 50% more knobs to avoid so if you had this as a function of a dial on here it would make that a little easier um, this of course has an Arca compatible plate that comes with it and it's a twist style clamp the twist clamp is is nice uh, I personally prefer levers but you can switch it out if you want um, and their plates are compatible with my really right stuff clamp and my really right stuff L bracket which is on my 5D is compatible with this clamp. Uh, so this is again a perfect travel setup. They actually offer less levels on this. There's just one in the shoe right here. Um, so that's a, a personal preference thing. You'll notice there's two safety screws here. That means when you put the plate on you have to come in from above. You can remove those and then slide it in from the side if you like. The other nice details, there's actually a little it's like a lever that flips out so you can hand tighten this really well and lots of rubber on it so it doesn't pivot. Um, as far as universal plates goes, this is actually a quite nice one um, for going on any of your other bodies if you don't use L brackets. So, and then you just screw it shut. And then this does have one other trick I'll show you really quick. If you lower this, you pop the, the screw, the uh, hook, screw on hook out of the bottom. Loosen that. Pull that out, the one leg with rubber grips on the top unscrews from the tripod itself. Clean that against the tree, and you have a monopod. Now the only disadvantage to this versus a regular monopod is the shortest it gets would be two sections. So for travel it doesn't get that short, but for travel it folds up with a tripod, so it really does. Uh, but the advantage is you're getting a monopod for free and you don't have to have two heads, you don't have to switch your heads, uh, your head's just on the same center column you always use, bam, on a monopod. Uh, so that's a great little feature. And then let me just show you again really quick how it goes back on because it's really, it's quite amazing how it does this and I'll tell you, in the, in the month I've been using this tripod, I've never noticed it not be stable because of this. It's, you don't even know it's there really until you're like, oh yeah, it's got a monopod built in. And to put the column back in, you just there's a little tab in here and a slot. You line those up, and it goes. Pop the screw back on. A little bit tricky to line it up from upside down. Screw that back on tight, and there you go. And then let me just collapse it so you can appreciate how short it is again. You go up with that again to collapse. Loosen the three, tighten. You'll notice I tighten all three at once in my hand. You'll get used to that as you go. Uh, it took me not even a day to really figure that out. And these rotate up. And you can see because I showed you the knobs, they were in the wrong spot. Uh, but they just rotated because the pan was loose. So there you go. It's about 17 inches, holds I think 22 pounds. Um, and then of course we come to pricing. Um, the first tripod I showed you, 
the uh, AC, what is this, the 1310 with the AB, or the BA1, BA0 head is around $100 as a kit. Great introductory, introductory kit. The AC2320L with the BA1 head is around $200 as a kit. And about the only negative of this, two things. One is weight, it's not like it's metal. And the other is length if you wanted to travel with it. But this is a great studio, around the house, macro tripod. And if you don't mind weight in your tripod, it does make it more stable. This thing is an awesome tripod. It's not all that heavy, it's just heavier than this guy. And then this, it's a little over 400, I believe. Uh, it is, there's the model number on this again, just so I can make sure I get it right for you. It is the CT3420 carbon legs with the BB1T uh, ball head. They offer all these ball heads in multiple sizes and configurations, so I'll, I'll link them all up in the review. So please check the blog, look for all the specifics in there. Uh, and hopefully this has showed you a little bit of the different tech in these three tripods and how they could be useful or not for you and helps you uh, pick out the right tripod. If you have any questions, drop by my site. There's a contact for, uh, form there. Just send me a note. I know tripods are very hard to get exactly what you want. I've been on the fence with my tripods for a while now. So if I can offer any advice, uh, I'm more than happy to do it. So this is Ben Jacobson for Ben Jacobson Photo, and I hope this review helps you pick out your right tripod. Thank you.